What's up, everybody? So, uh, I decided to do something a little different this year. For those of you who don't know, um, me and my husband, we farm full-time. Um, we're primarily hay, corn, soybeans, uh, a little bit of beef cattle, and we're also partners on a 70 cow dairy that we also just started a couple months ago. So, that's something new also that we're doing. We're in the middle of getting uh, our creamery set up to, uh, to where we can pasteurize and bottle all of our own milk. So, look for some videos in the future on that. But um, I took a wild hair about this time last year and decided that I was going to try to do some tulips for cut flowers. Um, spoiler alert, I've never done that. Don't know anything about it. Um, so, this is just kind of jumping in and seeing what happens. Um, so, I ordered two thousand, about 2,000 uh, tulip bulbs, uh, spring of 2023. I ordered those. They shipped, um, fall of 2023. Today is January 2nd, 2024. I'm definitely a little bit late planting them, but here in North Carolina, we've got pretty mild winter, so I'm not too awful worried about it. So, I've got two raised beds that I did them in. Um, they're three foot wide by 10 foot long. Um, we did this one day before yesterday and I've got about 1125 bulbs in this one and I've got about as many to plant in this one today so I'm going to show you guys um we put down some stuff in the bottom to help deter uh moles bowls whatever you want to call them because they love to eat tulip bulbs or bulbs in general so I'll show you what we put down for that um I'll show you how I'm planting them and all that good stuff so let's get into it so this is the second bed that I've got to plant and I, was, I had already started putting dirt in it and I forgot that I wanted to show you guys what we put in the bottom. This is called hardware cloth. It's just little bitty squares of uh, metal wire that I put down in the bottom of the beds uh, to try to help keep any uh, rodents or what have you from trying to come up through the bottom and chewing on the bulbs, eating the bulbs and whatnot. So, um, we put that down first, and then I'm putting just a very shallow layer of dirt on top of that before I plant the bulbs. Okay, so, I've got a shallow layer of dirt in the bottom of the bed that's on top of that hardware cloth wire. Um, and I've got a crate of 500 tulips here. Um, and so, one of the reasons why... I am so late planting these is because I was dreading it because I was afraid of how long it was going to take me to plant five or no 2,000 tulips because normally what I had always seen was you would plant them like this set each one individually yada 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 well that sounded like that was going to take a really long time so um I was watching a video a couple weeks ago of a flower farm in New York. Um, I think it's called Flower Hill Farm and she planted 10,000 tulips in like two hours or something crazy like that. So I thought, that sounds great. Let's do that. And this is going to be a trigger warning for anybody who has OCD, but this is literally what we're going to do. Well, I didn't realize until after I had already covered everything up that my video cut out right there. But all I did right there with that crate was I dumped it out in the bed and just had a big pile of tulip bulbs and just scattered them all out to where they were in a single layer. A lot of them were touching each other. Um, they were just turned every which away, but I just scattered them out to where there was a single layer. They weren't on top of each other. And that's how I left them. And you'll see what it looks like at the end of the video because this video cut out right there. My apologies. Okay, so I got those 500 planted, the ones that I just scattered out, um, you know, not worried about how they're facing. Um, but then I have a couple other varieties left that I have smaller quantities of um, that I'm going to actually plant upright with the points facing up and place each one just to compare and see um, if there is any difference. So these are, I've got a hundred of these. These are really pretty yellow and they've got some red mixed in there with them. They are called Foxy Foxtrot. They're a double tulip, um, double earlies. So I'm gonna plant them, uh, each individual bulb. Just because I've never planted tulips to any degree in any big quantity. Um, so just so I can tell 
or see if I can tell if there is a difference between just the scattering and mount method um, and the actually placing them. I guess maybe that's the traditional method you could call it. Just so I can see if there is a difference or not. So I'm going to get these all put out and then I'll show you what the bed looks like. All right, so here's the difference. Those are the ones that I planted individually upright. And then those are the ones that I just threw in there and scattered out. Um, it definitely took longer to do those. Um, I planted, there's 360 bulbs right there. And it took me as long to plant those 360 as it did for me to plant this whole bed, which has over 1,100 in it that I did like those. So definitely time saving to do it that way. Um, they also take up a little more space doing it this way because there's, you know, more space in between them, but we'll see if there's a difference when they come up. We got them all planted, uh, roughly 2000 bulbs. Um, I did, I think seven different varieties of, uh, various colors, some doubles, some singles. Uh, there's one in there called Fancy Frills. It's pink and it's got little, like little frilly, fringy things on the end of the petals. Um, oh, I did these. I'm super excited about these. These are called Queen of the Night. They're really, really, really dark, dark red. Um, I did 500 of those, so hopefully those all come up and are really pretty. Um, I'm going to cover these up with about six inches of dirt. Um, they say to do six to eight, so I'm doing six because if I do eight, it's going to be mounted way up on the bed. But anyway, I'm going to do about six inches of dirt, water them down really good. Um... And then y'all go hit the subscribe button to this channel. And as soon as there's an update on them, I will let y'all know. And of course, there'll be some videos of the dairy cows and our bottle and stuff, our creamery, when that gets up and going too. So y'all check it out.